Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is something a bit more glam and different but I'm hoping you guys are going to enjoy it so let's jump straight into the video. So to begin with I'm taking the P. Louise base in the shade Rumor 02 and I'm just popping this down on my eyelid and carving out my brows and this is going to be my eyeshadow base for this look today. You guys need to buy this product if you haven't already, it makes the perfect base for all of your eyeshadow looks. Next up I'm taking Love Letter from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm applying this through the crease of my eyelid. As you can see I'm not actually blending this out too much, I'm basically just building up the pigment. Then taking Hush Hush from the Jaclyn Hill Bling Boss palette, I'm softly diffusing out the Love Letter shade, just using really small circular motions. And taking a clean blending brush, I'm just going to diffuse out those edges of the Hush Hush shade. I'm then going to go back in with Love Letter from Anastasia Beverly Hills and just make sure that that pigment is nice and built up as I want that shade to stand out the most. This is also going to deepen up the crease as well. This is the NYX Brights palette and just apply that purple shade on the inner corners of the eye. And then go in with Mystic from Bling Boss palette and apply these to the outer corners. Then taking the P. Louise base and a soft concealer brush from Zoeva, I'm going to start carving out my crease. If you guys would like a bit more of an in-depth cut crease tutorial, please let me know and I can film one for you guys. I'm then going to go back in with all the same shades that I've used on the eye and just really softly pat those over the cut crease and this is just going to create a really nice soft blend. Then go back in with Mystic right on the outer corners and this is just going to create some depth to the eye look. Taking the NYX Glitter Primer, I'm just going to pop this all over the lid. To be honest, I wish I left the makeup look as it is now, but I did decide to go in with some pigment, and this is the Pure Pigment in Static from Illamasqua. I'm just popping this all over my eyelid, and I'm going to do the same on the other eye as well. I wasn't happy with how light this pigment was, so I decided to go in with Magnetic from the Moon Dust palette, and just pop this right in between the shadow and the pigment, just to create a little bit more depth. I'm then taking this Rock and Roll Charlotte Tilbury eye pencil and popping this throughout my waterline. Looks like I'm being dead rough, but I promise I'm not. Moving on to base products, I'm using the Hollywood Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury and I'm just applying this to the high points of my face. This is just going to give me a really nice lit from within glow and I'm just blending this out using a sponge. For foundation today I'm using the Maybelline Superstay foundation in the shade Cameo. I wanted a little bit more of a full coverage foundation as obviously this makeup look is rather glam and out there so I thought a full coverage flawless base would definitely suit this makeup look the most. concealer I'm using the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Concealer in the shade C4 and I'm just applying this under my eyes and to the high points of my face. This is just going to create a little bit of a very subtle highlight as well as give me some extra coverage in those places where I need it most which is mainly on my chin and under my eyes as well. And then I'm really softly blending this out using pattern motions and this Morphe concealer brush. For bronzer today I'm using this cream bronze and stick from Smashbox and just applying this to my cheekbones, my forehead, my jawline, under my lip and my nose as well. I do add some to my temples a little bit later on as you guys will see in a minute. So to begin with I'm taking a small concealer brush, this is from Zoeva and I'm just going to blend out my forehead, my nose and under my lip. I'm then going to swap to a larger brush and blend out the rest of the product and to blend this out I'm just using small pattern motions. Make sure you are patting this product out. If you are swelling your brush around you're just going to lose the pigment and you're going to start blending down to your foundation so you're going to have a patchy finish and it's just going to look all patchy and weird so you want to make sure that you are just patting this product out. To set that cream product into place I'm going to go in with the Smashbox bronzer so this is the powdered version of the bronzer and I'm just going to apply this to all the points 
of the face where I applied the cream bronzer. For blush I'm taking this palette here from Makeup Revolution and I'm going to use this really pretty mauve shade and just pop this on the apples of my cheek and then I'm going to powder all over the rest of my face using my favourite Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade 102. For highlight today I'm going in with the Ofra X Nikki Tutorials Cloud 9 highlighter. This is an absolute stunning highlighter, it has reflex of pink and lilac in it so I thought it'd match perfectly with this eyeshadow look. For brows I'm just taking a clear mascara, this one is just a collection one and then to smudge out my lower lash line I'm taking the exact same rock and roll pencil from Charlotte Tilbury and just really gently smudging that out using a smudging brush. I'm then going to apply my mascara, I'm using the thick and fast mascara from Soap and Glory and I'm applying this to my top and bottom lashes, this is an absolute gorgeous mascara if you want your lashes to look nice and thick and full and then I'm just going to apply my false lashes. I decided to add a little bit of highlight to my inner corner and I'm just using this unicorn foil from Makeup Revolution, just applying this to the inner corner of my eyes. For lip liner I'm using this Rimmel Cappuccino lip liner, this is an absolutely stunning brown cappuccino coffee shade, I feel like everyone needs this in their collection, it's the perfect brown nude. I did try to contour my lips a little bit as well just to make them look a little bit bigger but it was a fail, it didn't work, they just looked the exact same so I wouldn't even waste your product trying to contour your lips. I think it's just one of those Instagram things but yeah just line your lips normally, don't do what I did because it didn't work. We're then going to go in with a lip gloss and this is from Maybelline and it is the Taupe With Me lip gloss, it is honestly such a stunning colour. I'm then going to go and sort my hair out because I looked an absolute show, there we go, looking fabulous. <laughs> And this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure you give the video a massive thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye everyone.